Howdy folks, BC here. You're watching Deuce and Guns, and today I'm gonna to talk about something that's uh, pretty near and dear to my heart about the Deuce. And what I wanna discuss is the fact that I have a lot of experience driving around a Deuce and a half, had it for years and years, and put thousands of miles on it. And I don't believe I have once received a Jeep Way. Now, if you're unfamiliar with a Jeep Way, basically what that means is when a Jeep's going down the road, you're driving your Jeep down the road, and you meet another Jeep coming the other direction, you just give a little wave out, a little shout out, hey, you got a Jeep, I got a Jeep. That's cool, bro, we must have similar interests. That's all it is, just acknowledging a, you know, just a bond between Jeep ownership. And again, I have never gotten a Jeep wave. And I live in the South, we wave at everybody. Now the waves I do get, some of them are pretty interesting. I get uh, anything that's camouflage, anything that's painted camouflage, no matter what it is, I get away from them, of course. I get away from other military vehicle drivers, Humvee drivers, things of that nature. I always get a wave and shout out from them. Uh, anything that's lifted, any big, huge pickup, you know, F-350, Dodge 3500, any of those, all those are, you know, lifted up for off-roading. I get away from them. And today of all days, when I decided to make this video, I got two different waves from dump truck drivers. Not a dump truck dude, not a dump truck, but again, hey, you know what? I guess we have similar interests. You drive a dump truck, I drive a deuce and a half. Sure, why not, why not? You know, this is the South, you wave at everybody. Now my deuce and a half is actually made by Kaiser Jeep. So it's actually a authentic Jeep vehicle. Now a lot of the deuce and halves were not made by Jeep or Kaiser Jeep, they were made by GMC. But the earlier ones like mine are definitely by Jeep, so I think that's deserving of a Jeep wave. Now I am a uh, member of Reddit, and I, I, I don't Reddit all the time, but I do comment here and there. So I'm going to go to the actual Jeep owners uh, forum on Reddit and kind of post this question, just see what they say. See, do I deserve a Jeep wave? I don't know. I, I would think I would. I would think I would deserve a Jeep wave because right now there's a huge push to make another Jeep truck. Well, I got a Jeep truck right here. Now, I posted that on Reddit uh, about a month ago, and I got a lot of positive responses back, and here are some of my favorite responses. Donkey Kingdom actually mentioned that I should get an everybody wave in that beast, and I agree, but I'm a little biased. Now, Ed Skyfox actually mentioned that I should get a Jeep salute. Well, thank you, sir or madam. I appreciate that. And several people, including Deep Roast and Bodie McMoatface, actually stated that they want to have one now, my condolences to your checking account. And many people stated that the main reason why I probably don't get any Jeep waves is because most people just don't realize that Kaiser Jeep actually made these for several years, which I understand that because it does not have the classic Jeep seven slot grill. So I get that. But everybody agreed that I should be getting some sort of Jeep wave when driving by a Jeep. So guys, what do you think? Do you think I deserve a Jeep wave? I mean, I think I deserve a Jeep wave, but I'm kind of biased as a deuce and a half owner. So yeah, if you uh, have an opinion about that, go ahead and leave that in the comments below the video. And if you like this, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe because I have a lot more of this on the way. And of course, you guys have a great day. See ya. Pretty near and dear to my heart. And that, I just hit my microphone, didn't I? Damn.